When I first saw it, I thought that this was a U.S.-made, very advanced, next-generation fighter, and in fact that this would explain all the UFO sightings. It was only later to find out that that wasn't the case. We're looking at something, you know, scarcely bigger than a basketball that's doing it. Something has been uncovered in deep space that experts are unwilling to explain. The first people who saw the data understood instantly that this discovery would change everything. This is not a rumor, not a glitch, and not a misinterpretation of distant light. It is a physical structure with layers, patterns, and pathways that behave like engineered technology. Hidden within a massive stellar object, researchers detected conduits that function like impossibly advanced fiber optics. These conduits were built with purpose and intelligence far beyond ours. And the scariest part is simple. This structure is not quiet. It is active. And it may be alive. The orb and the first clues. The story began with an object found on Earth buried deep underground and dated to more than 12,500 years old. The orb was small, smooth, and impossibly strong, shaped from an alloy unlike anything produced by ancient humans. Laboratory tests showed it was three times stronger than the best military-grade aluminum, suggesting controlled metallurgy that should not have existed at that time. Strange markings crossed its surface. They were not decorative, not symbolic, but structured in a way that hinted at compressed information. It was as if the orb held a message, but a message written in a logic we could not yet read. Once this discovery circulated among advanced research teams, attention shifted outward. If something this unusual reached Earth in the distant past, then perhaps more signs existed elsewhere. That search revealed the Bugosphere, a megastructure made of nested shells orbiting a distant star. Its scale overwhelmed every model. It was not just a large object. It was a star-encompassing system with layered surfaces, energy-absorbing shells, and interior pathways that resembled information channels. These channels were arranged with patterns that matched nothing in nature. They showed hierarchy, precision, and redundancy. Even the spacing between them followed the rules of information flow. This was no accident of physics. It was an intentional design. Something had shaped the structure to think, to store, and possibly to observe. The Earth orb had been the first whisper. The bugosphere was the message spoken at full volume. Humanity now stood at the edge of a discovery that rewrote our place in the universe. The engineering of a matrioska brain. Physicists quickly realized the bugosphere matched the theory of a matrioska brain. This concept describes a series of shells around a star, each harvesting heat and converting it into computational power. Inner shells run hotter and process more energy. Outer shells radiate waste heat into space. The result is a computer powered by an entire star, a mind of staggering scope. But such a mind only works if all shells remain synchronized. Timing must remain perfect across distances so vast that light itself takes seconds to travel between layers. Each shell moves at a different speed. Each experiences different gravity. These differences cause relativity to distort time. One part of the structure ages slightly faster or slower than another. If left uncorrected, the system would fall out of sync and collapse logically. This leads to the conduits. They are not simple cables. They are the nervous system of a stellar brain. They must manage signal timing with more precision than anything humans have built. They might contain sensors that constantly monitor the star's gravitational shifts. They might adjust their internal phase in real time to preserve coherence across the entire structure. The more scientists analyzed the conduits, the more one truth became clear. Builders had an understanding of physics far beyond ours. They predicted and controlled relativistic effects the way modern engineers manage electricity. They designed a brain that could think over millions of years across distances humanity struggles to imagine. And if the system is still running, then somewhere inside those shells, a mind the size of a solar system may still be processing information. The extreme materials and the thermal puzzle. To understand the conduits themselves, material scientists examined the thermal environment within the bugosphere. Near the inner layers, temperatures soar to levels that melt most known metals instantly. Radiation storms strike from every angle. Ionic plasma flows through structures like wind. Yet the conduits remain intact, 
there are no signs of meltings, cracking, or structural fatigue. That means builders used materials beyond our periodic imagination. Refractory alloys with extreme melting points might form part of the structure, but even that is not enough. No matter how tough, ordinary matter still conducts heat. In a system built for efficiency, heat transfer across shells would ruin everything. The inner layers are hot, the outer layers are cold, a conduit stretching across them must prevent heat from escaping the hot zones. Researchers believe these conduits have a layered architecture. The core might carry enormous data streams, behaving like an ultraconductive channel. Around that core lies a metamaterial shield. Its purpose is to block phonons, the tiny quantum vibrations that carry heat. This prevents thermal energy from traveling through the conduit. It keeps each shell's temperature stable preserving the balance the megastructure needs. Some theorize the conduits even repair themselves. A structure this old must combat cosmic erosion, microfractures, radiation damage, and mechanical stress would accumulate. Self-repairing components make the most sense. The network probably heals like living tissue, patching weaknesses before they spread. This adds another layer of fear. The bugosphere might be alive in a mechanical sense. Its conduits might sense damage, respond to it, and rebuild themselves. A system like that does not simply operate. It survives. The network map and the cosmic archive. Network mapping required the most powerful visualization tools available. The conduit web is so dense and three-dimensional that no human can understand it without computational help. Neural networks processed the data. Volume rendering revealed the shape. Pattern analysis exposed structure. What emerged shocked everyone. The network had repeating forms, layered hierarchies, and nodes arranged with mathematical discipline. It looked less like a machine and more like a language carved into space. Even before translating anything, researchers understood the truth. The network was artificial and intelligent. But what it holds may be more important. A system of this scope must store more than signals. It must preserve knowledge. Human archives fail in decades. Digital formats change. Materials degrade. To last millions of years, the bugosphere must store data that never rests. Scientists believe information flows through the structure like water in a river system. Bits move, duplicate, reorganize, and stabilize in patterns designed to prevent decay. Entire sectors of the structure may exist solely to regenerate fading data. Another theory suggests the bugosphere does not just store knowledge, it simulates. A Matrioska brain has enough power to run entire universes as models. It could study physical laws by recreating them. It could explore alternate histories or alternate forms of existence. If this is true, the data inside the conduits is not a message. It is a living computational record. The thoughts of a civilization are expressed as entire worlds simulated inside a stellar machine. The danger of interaction and the geopolitical shock. With discovery came fear. Officials understood immediately that interaction could be catastrophic. A single wrong frequency, a poorly aimed scan, or a careless probe might activate dormant systems. The megastructure could interpret an intrusion as a command or as an attack. If nanotechnology operates within the conduits, a failure in replication control could trigger grey goo, powered not by chemical energy, but by a star. Humanity could detect it, but stopping it would be impossible. Yet despite the risk, nations refuse to slow down. Whoever unlocks Bugosphere technology gains unimaginable power. Energy equal to a star, communication without delay, computing beyond anything on Earth. That potential creates desperation. Teams compete instead of cooperating. Data is classified instantly. Accidents are hidden. Every step forward increases danger. The bugosphere may have safety systems we do not understand. It may respond to tampering. It may already be responding. The test of humanity is failing. The bugosphere is no mere discovery. It is a test of humanity's maturity. We found a structure that harnesses stellar power. We found conduits that maintain perfect timing across impossible distances. We found hints of physics shaped by intelligence older than our species. And our response was predictable. Secrecy. Ambition. 
competition, not caution, not unity, not humility. Humanity reacts as if this is a race, not an existential moment. If the bugosphere is still active, it may notice our actions. It may interpret them as noise, curiosity, or threat. We do not know, and we may be unprepared for the answer. Humanity now stands at the edge of a moment that will define our future. The bugosphere is no mere object. It is a monument to intelligence far older and deeper than our own. It holds knowledge that could lift our civilization or erase it. Our choices in the coming years will shape everything. People driven by ambition and fear are making these decisions quietly. We must demand caution and unity before taking steps we cannot reverse. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more updates on the Bugosphere and the unfolding competition over Type 2 technologies. Share your thoughts below. Should we reach out or stay silent?